Oh, hey, Perry Puss. You grew up a lot in the course of a little over a month. I feel a huge amount of deja vu about this situation. So, guys, remember how reboots apparently suck for no reason other than they suck? Well, we have another person who's going to teach us how this is the case. This guy is called Easily Pleased 23 And what a misleading username that is. Because he is not at all pleased with the Powerpuff Girls 2016 reboot. Hello, fans of the Powerpuff Girls. Hello. And welcome to a real depressing... Yeah, I don't even know what they're calling this. Because it's... Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's real bad. I, I really... Ooh, what have they done to our favorite... What have they done to a childhood show that brought joy to so many people? Well, besides neutered it. It's simple. They rebooted it. This is something that happens to many popular shows, and while some of these reboots are normally some of the most unpopular shows to ever come out during a certain time period, not all of them are inherently bad. In fact, I would go as far as to debate no reboot is inherently bad, and people like yourself who tend to say otherwise drive me so far up the walls that I may as well be on the ceiling. And, uh, I really don't know what else to say with that. It's, oh, it's something. Perhaps recording this video without knowing what it is you wanted to talk about isn't the best option for you. In the first few moments together, you have proven to me scriptless rants are not your strong point. So how about cut the video, write out some bullet points, and get back to me when you got what you want to say down. I got the image right here on my screen. Above is the older Powerpuff Girls, the better ones. <laughs> the better ones, we call them the better ones. And here we have the new designs. Buttercup with a little cow like Blossom with her not as sharp <laughs> bow. Because it was too pointy, so they had... Because kids nowadays can't handle anything with points because they think about stabbing people with it. Well, that's a baseless assumption if I ever heard one. Ever figure it's just a new design for the sake of a new design? After all, animation is getting cheaper due to how studios are doing animation. In that, most of them are using flash animation. It's just simply easier to animate. It has nothing to do with the worry that kids are going to be violent. Please. If that was the case, shows like Steven Universe and Adventure Time would have never aired. Not to mention Wabbit and even the Powerpuff Girls reboot that we're talking about as they go all out in fighting. Not just simple fucking triangles. Get real. Oh my god, this entire show is is a shell of what what we wanted. Like, I always, I always thought, you know, for like how they have that one picture where it shows like the Cartoon Network... You know the, car the Cartoon Network people, like the movie theater, and it has all of the characters usually that are within there. So wait, let me see if I can find that. First off, here's your picture. Second, why do you spend time doing this? Prepare your fucking videos. Not only is this pointless padding to your video, but it's mostly dead noise as literally nothing is there to fill in the gap of you whispering to yourself as you look up the picture. Third of all, what's the relevance to this picture? Answer to that real quick, there is none. You are bringing this up to say that Cartoon Network in general is bad instead of staying on topic and talking about why the Powerpuff Girls reboot is bad. You know, the main topic of this video. Yeah, that's what I thought. You may not be easily pleased, but you are certainly easily distracted. So, what is... what do we got here going on? Well, besides the fact that this reboot is bullshit. Alright. How is it bullshit, though? You keep going around the mulberry bush, but you will never catch that weasel unless you get around to explaining why the show is bullshit. Seriously, we're two minutes in and you haven't explained shit except for a singular bullshit line where you talk about how kids are being sheltered from fucking triangles! And... My, my dog here is the neighbors doing something, so you can ignore that. Uh Distracting yourself to talk about something we can hear. Yep, Easily Please has Easily Bored Syndrome. Uh, so... What exactly are they gonna do here? So, well, first of all, they brought back probably every voice actor except for the three girls. Blossom Bubbles and Buttercup. They're three different voice actors. The rest are, I believe, are the same. A voice does not make a character. A character makes a voice. Case in point, Wabbit. Bugs Bunny is still in character. He's still a snarky, sly bunny who can play around his scenarios instead of letting the scenarios play him. He was not made by the voice Mel Blanc gave him back in 1937. Bugs Bunny made the voice Mel Blanc gave him in 1937. Someone else could voice Bugs Bunny not as well as Mel, and people have, and it would still be fine as long as the established character of Bugs is still intact. So... Here is the article that I read 
from the New York Times where they interviewed the guy and then, you know, he's like the creator or whatever of this new one. So, what do they want to focus on? Well, where is it at? Is this series will, where was it? It was gender and identity. Those were the words. Gender and identity. There it is. Gender and identity. That is what they want to focus on with the show. You say focus, but what I read is also address issues. There is quite the difference. No, what they focus on are the three girls. They are just exploring the themes that are way more acceptable in today's society. Could you imagine back in 1998 through 2005, a show that actually dives into things like gender dysphoria? I mean, I can think of one example being Lloyd in Space in 2001, but that was less gender dysphoria, more a battle of the sexes. Those are really serious topics. They really are. And if, they if they're gonna tackle this, this is the worst show to do that because here it is if they okay first of all above this is they talk about why they don't like miss bellum anymore is because they believe she doesn't fit what they want to show people where it's like so you're ditching the strong female character in here to give more screen time to the girls who are extremely carbon copies of memes and new wave crap. We felt that Miss Bellum wasn't quite indicative of the kind of messaging we wanted to be giving out at this time. We sort of had her move on. Well, I mean, I guess I can get what that may imply, especially with the next paragraph explaining how Miss Bellum was a super intelligent character that never surpassed the idiotic mayor. However, that's not a quote directly from the creators themselves. I mean, hate to throw my own personal bias against ideology-centered journalism into the mix, but ideology-centered journalism tends to push Get this, an ideology. This may not be something to take at face value, but let's just say yes, that's what they had in mind. They are pushing SJW, new wave ideas and messages by taking out Miss Bellum. She was a side character in the original show anyway, being only a supporting role to a supporting character to the main characters of the show. So it's not like we're missing out on much anyway. Taking her out of the original show would often do nothing to any of the episodes she was in. However, if you actually found her important and liked her as a character, the question then becomes, is the show entertaining? Can they tell a story that's worth a damn? Are the characters enjoyable? And maybe you can go as far to ask how preachy are they about their message? Are you going to answer any of these brought up questions? I can tell you by the rate you're going and the path you're going down, this political correctness is the only excuse to hate the show. The, Ms. Bellum is completely written out. She's gone. Poof. She has written a letter to the mayor saying she has, a, she has lots of vacation days saved up and he can handle it himself. Well, wrong thing. Here he is in his underpants staring at all the pictures of his belly. This is, this is it. That's all you get of her. It's over. <laughs> no more Miss Bell. She's too, she's, she doesn't, because, because she doesn't show her face, that is not a good, that is not something that, can't see me, that little, that girl should look, look up to. So you think they took out Miss Bellum because she never showed her face? What the hell goes through that mind of yours? She's a side character that held no relevance to anything. And with the SJW thought process in the mind, she was a character who was very competent working for a guy who once called the Powerpuff Girls in to help open a fucking pickle jar. Now, you can argue that the contrast was part of the joke. The mayor was a moron, so having a straight man, or in this case straight woman, be the contrast to the mayor's wacky antics made humor. We could also go into a little bit of a theory here. Perhaps Jennifer Martin, the voice of Miss Bellum, doesn't want to act anymore. I mean, prior to the reboot, she hadn't had much of any work in acting since 2007, and that's only if we want to debate she had a major role in God of War 2 where she played Yurel. After that, she only played as Miss Bellum in minor cameos. Perhaps she's just not into it and wanted to quit. Of course, this is just speculation and I could be totally off base here, but at least I'm trying to come up with more of an idea than her dur she doesn't show her face. Anyway, I'll be skipping ahead because he just keeps going on about how stupid it actually is without really explaining shit all about why. And he repeats this three or four times. And this isn't even discussing the fucking unicorn episode. This is the unicorn episode. I'm not even gonna show the I'm not even gonna show a clip because I fear copyright, but because they find this pony and they're like, he wants to become a unicorn. But they go to Prince Utonium. He has a special ray beam that can turn him into a fucking unicorn. He's gonna try. He'll as he wants to. And the stupid unicorn has a stupid surfer voice, dude. He's a stupid surfer. 
yeah, bro, whatever Bubbles believes in, I believe in. He sounds like shit, too. So, as Professor Utonium then goes up and goes, okay, I can turn you into a, I can turn you into a unicorn, but you will have to live, but here are, here are all the bad things that can go wrong. And now here's all the repercussions that can go wrong with you changing. And now here's all the other things that could go possibly wrong and kill you. And, and all the other repercussions that come with it. And also, I won't do it till you read this entire paperwork. Alright, perhaps this is me being a little nitpicky, but Donnie the Unicorn is actually a unicorn the whole time. And the surfer accent is only there for really one second, whereas the rest of the steps up he sounds like this guy. I mean, yeah, he does address Bubbles as bra, but the action itself actually isn't there throughout most of it. He also never addressed the fact that Donnie turns into a monster when Utonium raises him. Which makes me wonder if you even really watched the episode in its entirety. Or do you think one minute is enough for you to get the general gist of the episode? Transgender people are going to be so pissed off about this. Because they turned, like, their decision, their, their identity decision on what they want to become into a joke. This is like Family Guy level right here. The, this pony dude is a complete retard. He's a retard. Completely. <laughs> I don't know. I'll become a unicorn because my friends want me to. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? They're so mad about that. This is kid. This is bad. Bad. Look at his stupid face. Look at it. Shame. I don't like this show because they take a deep talk and they make it lighthearted. Despite the fact that I haven't even watched the episode to know that there are other points to bring up against this particular episode. I mean seriously, as someone who has actually watched the episode myself, you are sounding incredibly close-minded. Seriously, this isn't the only time I can point it out. To give more screen time to the girls who are extremely carbon copies of memes and new wave crap. I'm pretty certain I can point out what this little sentence is referencing to as well. Here's the thing though. You can't just go off of what the internet says, especially when it comes to reboots like this. You pretty much have to sit down and watch the things yourself. Perhaps I'm being unfair though. Perhaps you'll bring something new to the table in a bit. Let's stick it out the rest of the way through. I mean, there's only five more minutes left. No point in wasting them. This is what you get when you ask for a reboot. You get social just warrior crap. <laughs> social just warrior crap. Not just, we're gonna have, we're gonna have the girls go back to Saving Townsville and and stopping Mojo Jojo and all this. No, 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 no. We're gonna, we're gonna discuss gender and identity. Except when they save Townsville in the exact same fucking episode that we're talking about. Again, I must ask, did you even watch any of the show, or are you basing your opinion around small clips that the internet cherry picked? Because. Oh wait, you weren't done with that thought. Oh, pardon me then. Continue. Because, that's what it is. Little girls must know that they have to use smartphones and they have to use stupid text lingo in their speech. So you're saying that they're learning about gender identity because they're teaching girls to use smartphones and talk in... What? How does this make any lick of sense? I mean, I feel like during the course of this video you've just evolved into the ramblings of a madman. The city of Townsville is no longer relevant. Saving them is, is, is completely behind everything and we'd rather work on... Let's focus on... Bub... <laughs> Blossom's stupid test-taking ability and Buttercup's going to Woosa shit. Like, men and- oh my god, it's just- You know, I find repetition is used greatly for putting people to sleep. It'd be a great cure for insomnia. At this point, I'm skipping ahead to the actual relevant points. <laughs> Wait, do you really have nothing else to bring up? 
All right then, final thoughts. Dude, seriously, you've got nothing on the show. It's far from perfect, but it really isn't as bad as you're claiming it to be. You sit there and stare at the internet deciding to shout SJW along with the rest of them without taking into consideration that them exploring these kind of themes is only a side thing and the rest of the show is surprisingly the same. I know they're a bit preachy with their morals. I will say, however, that they use those half ass shoehorn morals to get the girls to fight the bad guys. It's still the action-y show that it once was, just with slight changes here and there. It sounds to me that you want a reboot to be the exact same shit with literally zero changes at all to the formula, and to that I say fuck you. Things need to change in order to get a new audience in. It needs to constantly change so people do not get bored of the same shit every single week. Everything changes. You just kinda have to deal with it.